after two losses in rounds four and five, Magnus Carlsen has struck back with a draw and then two back-to-back -back wins. The latest one against Fabiano Caruana. So let us have a look at the game. Caruana played e4, e5, knight out, knight out, and we have the rule opus. a6, bishop back, knight f6, castles, bishop e7, the main line of rule opus, b5, bishop b3, and castles. So Magnus is inviting c3, which would could be met with the ma martial attack. Fabiano plays pawn a4, not going for the martial line, b4, a5, and d6. C3. So white's anyway going for the C3 D4 push. Rook B8, H3, H6, and D4. So white has got what he has wanted in the rule opus. He got the sender. But soon in this game, Fabiano misses one very important resource. Anyway, takes, 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 and bishop D7. Bishop F4 and knight E5. Knight A3, rook E8, bishop G3, and bishop F8. Black is doing the best he can. He's just bringing the bishop to the defense of the king, uncovering the rook's path. Pawn f4. White goes for play. So it looks like there is some play for white with the f4 push. But it's just temporary. It is not long term. And Magnus just moves his knight back. e5. Takes, 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 takes. And here came bishop c6. This is what Caruana missed. I mean, how could Magnus... Give away his knight. Very difficult to see this beforehand. That the black player could just play bishop c6. At first hand, it doesn't look like there is any threat. Right? So, what is the real point here? If pawn takes knight, then rook takes rook. If queen takes, the bishop on b3 hangs over here. So, bishop would take back. But then, anyway, rook takes bishop. Queen takes back. Queen takes d4. This is the point of Magnus Carlsen. So very nice tactical find by Magnus. Bishop to c6. And this is what basically got him the game. This move shook Caruana so much that he blundered in the next move. Caruana should now either move the rook away out of the spin or get this rook out of the way to c1. Or even move the queen to c2. But yeah, why do that when you can just move the rook to c1 or f1? Which is either way useful. He's attacking the bishop. If bishop takes knight, rook takes bishop. So this is what he should have done. But Karivana played bishop to c2. Is that a big problem? It is. Because now black's pieces are becoming so active. There is no play for white. This mate threatened. So Karivana defended it with rook e2. And now rook b4. No defense. The d pawn is gone for free. With threats and with no compensation. So all of a sudden, with that one surprise, and then the queen jumping in, things have completely turned into black's favor. King h2 and rook takes pawn. Queen b1. Here you can play good moves like rook d2 is one way to continue. But Magnus, of course, goes for the end game. He plays knight e4. Allowing Caruana to go for a little bit of hope, but that hope is short-lived because the two bishops are st still so damn dangerous. Bishop b4 is coming. The bishops are covering everything. So this endgame is completely lost. The engine gives minus 5. Even though black is just up by one pawn, the bishop pair and the activity is too much for white to handle. That it's a completely lost position. So what happened is knight, knight c4, Rook b8, activating the rook. He's heading for the b2 square if the knight moves. So g2 is the target. Rook c1. Here Magnus just played rook b5. His threat is bishop b4. Or bishop d3, rook b2. So a lot of things are threatened. Especially the pawn is the one under attack soon. Pawn e6, going for the c pawn. But then just rook c5. And now bishop went back. And then just bishop e4, bishop d5. And Ma Magnus won this. Caravana had had enough. Because you're not losing the knight. You can still move it away. But it'll lead to an exchange of rooks. And that's the last of white's play. Because now black can just come and pick up the pawn after that. And Caravana decided he has suffered enough. And he resigned.
So what a comeback by the world champion. He won't be world champion for long now, just two more months of the title, but he has just thrashed one of the best players on the planet, Caruana, Fabiano Caruana. Uh, 